What's up guys, Jason here. I just thought I'd give a quick update real quick on what's going on with the car. I had some people asking me some questions. Hey, what's the real meaning behind the build? You know, because a lot of people have Fox bodies and, you know, in a turbo setup, it's pretty common. I said, yeah, the main goal behind this build that we are doing is to hit 200 miles an hour, hit it consecutively without overheating, without blowing up, and do it on a fairly like thirty thousand dollar budget. That's about what we got into it right now, to be honest with you. And the really the other part of it is to say, hey, you can go out there buy a Fox body for about three thousand dollars, get a three hundred fifty one Windsor over your local pick apart junkyard for about maybe five hundred bucks, rebuild the motor, keep it just keep it stock, put forged pistons in it. Uh, maybe forge connecting rods. You don't even have to go that far. And can I do what I did here? Okay. That's a Barry Cook's Monster Turbo VS Racing 80 millimeter. Uh, it is water cooled, oil cooled, and uh, this thing will definitely scream on the big end. And I got Blueprint Engine Cylinder Heads 190 cc. It's the cylinder heads they put on their crate motors. And um, so this is all budget minded. Okay, and uh, I got a 6AL box on it too also for the ignition. And so, I mean, anybody can do this. And, you know, other guys are like, hey, this cat on YouTube is trying to hit 200 miles an hour with a fairly common bill that you normally see. Man, let's see if he does it, you know. So leave me a message, subscribe, give me your suggestions on what you think. The gear ratio is a 315 out back, obviously a highway gear behind a rebuilt t5 okay so that's what we're working with and um and also the brakes oh goodness man we did the rear brake conversion obviously and you know i got the t i got the cobra master cylinder the problem is the brake booster there's no way ever that you can get this car to stop especially it's doing about 125 130 went to go stab it the brakes were kind of there and then i hit it again and there was nothing and it scared me half the daylights, man. It was insane. And um, so we have the conversion on there. And the Cobra brake booster is the size of a basketball. And that's not going to fit on a tall deck Windsor block and a Fox body. It's just it's not going to work. So here's the answer to that. Boom. Hydro boost. All right. That's what we're going to do. Dump trucks, small box trucks, UPS trucks. It's like sending a UPS truck at 200 miles an hour. And then having it stop within about mm, 150 feet. <laughs> That'll do it, folks. Right there. Hydraulic brakes. You can't go wrong with that. I had this before on my other truck, my 84 Dodge. And let me tell you something. I had the one that had the bigger canister on it. The, it was out to here. And that thing stopped on a dime. I mean, I never had another brake issue ever again on that truck when I put uh, Hydro Boost on it. So definitely top in like race cars got to have hydro boost. That's my opinion. I don't know what the Lambos and the Porsches are running. And I live right next door here to Summit Point Raceway in West Virginia. So I'm right here on 340. And 340 is nothing but a, it's just nothing but a top in drag mile, you know, highway. It's just, it just keeps going straight, 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 straight. And you can hit 200 miles an hour in a blink of an eye. Okay. And, um, I don't encourage you to do that. You gotta go on a racetrack to do that. But anyway, and I see these cats all the time, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give one of these guys a run for the money one day, and they're a two hundred thousand dollar car, and a car only costs thirty grand. You know what I mean? Maybe even less than that. So, whatever. A little pride there, but um, that's what we're doing. Two hundred miles an hour plus. Keep watching. Tell your mom. Tell your cat. Tell your dog. Tell your friends. Say hey. Let's see if this guy does it. Tell your friends. And uh, let me know his suggestions. And I don't know what the next upgrade is. Probably got to change the valve springs. Maybe a little valve float around 4,500 RPMs. Um, I want to change that around. Get some more seat pressure on those springs. And then uh, go to the F cam, which is really good uh, for turbo cars. Uh, for the Ford applications. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe. I thank you for all your comments. Peace.